Um, hello everybody, this is Super Sanusi from Texaplex.com and today we'll be taking a quick look at uh, Blackberry 10.21 which was released yesterday. Um, so one of the one of the coolest features which funny enough Blackberry isn't talking about is the ability to install um, Android APKs directly. So I'll show you that quickly first of all. Um, I've got this application here called Snap, which is sort of like um, Google Play being accessed from a public API. So um, I'm going to launch it now and I'll just come here and search for the Tech Suplex app, which is on Google Play. Um, when you first log in, like the first time, you'd have to sign in to your Google Play account and all of that. So this is TechSuplex app from Google Play directly. I'm going to tap on it. Now it's giving me the option to download first and open installer. So I'll do that. After downloading, um, this is what you get. Yeah, now it gives me the option to install. This is an APK and this is directly from um, Google Play. It's installing. permissions yes yeah and it's done so this is like an APK that I just installed directly you could see here that this bar is already here this is one of the things that shows you that it's an APK not in all cases but yeah so that's a Texaplex app um, it's a fresh install it's pulling info from the internet right now to populate and yeah this are like um, posts that we have on tech suplex right now. So I'll show you another cool feature that has come with the update. Let me just put my password real quick so you guys don't know what that is. So yeah, um, one, one of the new features that comes with this is the quick settings, quick customizable settings. You can see on both phones you now have like a longer menu and then you can go to your settings and actually change what's on the menu right like if you come to quick custom settings yeah so these are like you have other stuff you could put internet teetering bedside mode device monitor location services touch light mobile networks those are things you could put you could put any of them and rearrange either as well oh yeah and it comes to the touch light now and um, FM radio as well which I would look into quickly. So um, another cool feature that is built in here that is new is the security feature called picture, picture lock. So you may want to unlock your phone like really quick, right? And then you don't want to type anything, right? So under device password, there's a new um, option called picture lock. Let's turn it on so you can see what it's like. It's asking for my password again. So I'll type that real quick. Yeah, so this is how it works. It first um, tells you what happens, but the basic idea is you put a picture underneath and then there are like some random numbers. So you pick a number, right, and then um, that number becomes sort of your password when it is at a particular point in the picture. So whenever you want to unlock your screen, you just drag the picture till the number is at the point where it is. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, it's asking me to pick a picture, so I'll pick this one with the buttons, right? And a number, let's use five. So it's going to ask me to drag, this is five now, right? It's going to ask me to put five where I want it to be. So I'll put it on this black button on top. So what that means is that whenever I want to unlock my phone, I'd need to drag five to where this button is and I'll click next. It's reminding me that that's the com combination I've picked. Right? Yeah, I'm done. Next. So, this is like an example. If I want to unlock my screen now, this is what I'd see. And then I'd have to look for a five. There's one here and there's one here. I'd use the one on top and drag it to this button here. See? And it's been confirmed. So that's how... Um, 
the picture password thing works, which is a new one of the new features. Um, I'm going to I'm going to also show you. Let me use this phone. The call screen on the OS right now is different. All right before now, you had a call screen where when a call came in, you'd have to drag and drop. But right now, it looks different. Like to pick up a call, you go this way, and the call you go that way. I could just you know reply with a text already preset that you're not available. So I'd, I'd end this here, but that's how the call screen looks right now. Um, another new feature that is here is the ability to group contacts. I would do that with a text message. Right. So um, right now, let me use this as one and use this as two. You could group conversations with many people. You can see it's popped up here. So what happens is that when um, I'm talking to these people and I send text messages to all of them, you know, I get all the text messages back in this thread, which um, is useful if you talk to, you know, you have a lot of these group discussions every now and then. Um, what else is new? Okay, like I said, there's a touch. There's now touch lights. Um, let's look at that on this phone. Um, the touch light is simple. I've added it here to my quick option, so you can just tap that and the light comes on. You turn it off. Um, too bad for all those guys who have um, touch light apps on the store. Okay, so here's another here's another um, quick one which has to do with notifications right now. So um, like I said before in one of the blog posts, the notifications on 10.2 have the option for um, to be actionable, meaning they pop up regardless of what app you are in and you can answer them. So I'm back in the TechSuplex app right now and I'm going to send a quick BBM from one of my other phones. Yeah, so um, you can see the BBM is coming. I'm still in the app and I can reply this with a hi and send without leaving what, I, what I'm doing. And the conversation continues. I could type something else you know and it comes in and I can reply this again with something else without leaving what I'm doing which is really cool and this works for text messages um, BBM emails WhatsApp and any other third-party app that decides to build that functionality in so um, that's one of the really cool new things that is here as well um, another nice thing which you know is now here is on in the hub you have pinch to zoom so for example let's say you have like a lot of a lot of new messages right and you just want to see like all of them concentrated in one place you just pinch and this is all that I have on red right and then I could focus on this and then when I'm done you know I get back to the regular view and then yet another new cool feature that is on this is let me open a new tab and open TextSuplex is the offline um, browser mode which has been built into this I should open an article yeah so assuming I have this article open right and I want to read it later you know when maybe I may not have like internet come here to access the menu right and then there's a save page option right now so you just pick where you want to save and save and it downloads the page and then you can check it out much later if you wish 
Um, okay, another new new thing that you could put um, here is preferred contact sync. So we're going to create a new contact. Um, I'll just put a random number and a random name. All right, so at the very top here, you could see um, where you want to sync your information from and what, where you want to save it as, what you want to save it as. Right, so if you want to save it as your local contact, then it's fine. You can save it on your SIM as well. You could save it on my email addresses here. You know, so that's new. That wasn't possible before 2.1. All right, and then, you know, there's the FM radio thing, which I'm going to need an earpiece to show you. So let me get one and plug it here. Well, that one is sorting itself out so yeah it's like I said it's now part of the media or music player so this is FM radio right? and these are like a couple of stations already picked so I could try this change the audio source out so you can hear Um, I don't listen to radio much, but let me see. Now, because okay. of so yeah. many so found one. priorities, we are, we are not and in there, but uh, that's how the radio feature money, works by the government, we are putting it into infrastructure development, uh, improving the laboratories. So, yeah. imp there are a bunch of other things, you know, that come with um, the OS. You know, right now you can have automatic OS updates, right? So you don't have to wait and get a notification and all of that. You could set it to automatically update anytime you're within Wi-Fi. Um, for people that are conscious about security, especially for people that use BES 10, you know, there are a few more policies and a few more things you could do on this. There are a few more things you can lock down, a lot more options than um, you had before. Okay, another quick thing, you know, that I haven't looked at yet, which is new, is the device and battery monitor. So let's look at that here. Um, if you if you scroll down, right, you'd see the app manager and the device monitor. So under app manager, I have device, the monitor, and default apps. Let's look at device monitor real quick. So this is what it looks like. On the first tab, you could see what your battery usage is like. All right, I've always, I always wanted this. You know, you see how your battery is going and what's what's using your battery. So, like right here, right right now, it's telling me the system is using two point, has used two point two percent, and the space using um, two percent as well. Uh, you could check the CPU, which is next tab, and see what is hogging system resources. System itself is using it's fluctuating, but right now it's using about five percent. Um, the browser is using 1.2 and all of that. You can see change real time, and this is like a memory. So this is how much um, memory I have. Like out of two gig of RAM, I'm using 1.84 right now, and I have just the 164 MB free. And then you can see what is taking the RAM, and you know what's not. So if you choose to you could click on each one and like get better um, granular analytics of what exactly is happening. Um, storage is basically your space. I'm using 11 gig, 11.02 gig, and you could see why I've got like modern combat four, 
Oswald, Shadow Gun as the top three um, culprits. Modern Combat 4 is about 1.9 gig. Asphalt is about 1.3 gig. And then here it talks about your default apps. All right, I haven't set any default, but you could set. Um, say for example you're trying to open it, you download the picture and you're trying to open it sort of same way happens on Android, you can set like a default app to um, open that and then this is also, this takes care of installing apps from other sources like when you first download the OS this isn't set so you'd have to come here and allow apps from other sources on before you can um, install APKs um, what else? What else? What else? Um, let's just take a quick look at this OS screen, so you could see this is this is at 30, obviously, uh, and I'm running 10.2.1.53 on it. Um, I think that's it, really. Um, there's nothing else. There's nothing else. Nice here. Oh, and Android apps work really smoothly now. Um, I'll just show you a quick example. This is Pocket. All right. So, yeah. It works pretty well. You don't need to do any special crazy stuff. This is my Pocket. And it actually does some amazing stuff. Like, this, this is the last link I copied, right? On the browser, and it gives me the option to save it. Let me let me do another one, so you could see real time. Uh, this is the link for the Textapex article I opened earlier. Right, it's copied. Um, it's asking me whether I want to add it to Pocket, and if I if I select yes, it's saved. So it comes here to my Pocket like directly, and here it is. I'll probably still be downloading it now, but yeah. So yeah, this is this is the app from Textuplex on Pocket. And then um let's show you another Android app real quick. This is Fiber. Right, and it works like perfectly. Let me get Viber running on the other phone. Viber usually has this issue though, like it can be buggy with the black screen. So this is not a Blackberry um issue in particular but I'm going I'm going to launch Viber on my Android phone which you can't see off the screen and try and place a call to the Blackberry yeah and here you go hello Hello. You can see the call going through. So that works um, pretty well.